Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about ranking my palettes I bought over the next six months. So if you want to see um, if I like these palettes, which one would be my favorite and uh, which of them is like trash, then just keep on watching. I have to say I am quite proud that I just accumulated around 10 palettes in the last six months. Uh, normally I would like bought by more but I'm quite happy about that so now let's go into my ranking which of these palettes I like the most and which ones I just didn't it just counted I think I have 11 palettes but we will go through that let me rank all of this on the last place I think that will be no really a surprise at all um by the way just so you know <laughs> I rank these, of course, uh, how much use I got out of these, uh, if that is my color story or not. I'm trying to tell you why it's maybe not my favorite, if it is on the like the lowest point or anything. But just keep in mind, I do like all of these palettes, not like I don't. So yeah, we'll see about that. I think on the lowest ranking point uh, will be the flower nose uh, palette and this is the moonlight mermaid series and this is the five color jewel jewelry eyeshadow palette in the three ocean siren and i think if you saw any of my videos you know why this is a good color story i think the quality is decent but for me this shade is a little bit too like low pigmented this one is really nice uh this one is a great topper but these shades like are similar in shade depth so for me there's nothing i can deepen up my look with uh, i can switch though if i wanted to add like a little bit more brown so i have like a more brown look or i add like this pink shade so i have a little bit more of a pink look the quality of these shades is decent again this one is a little bit lacking in pigmentation um, but further other than this I think the quality is great the packaging is stunning but again just so you know uh, that's the reason why this one is on the like last place I think this one will also come as no surprise and that is the Clarity Cosmetics Cobra palette for this one, I have to say, I don't like the formula quite a lot. So that is the reason why this is in the like almost last place. The color story is really pretty. Um, I did do a great like look with it, though I miss again a light shade. I do love these, these four shades here. These are stunning and I think I did an amazing job with using them. These are also good, but I feel like these two shades, they could be like a really, really light yellowy shade or a light, like a really, 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 really light, um, like tealy shade. This one is light, but it's not as light as I wish. So that's the reason why this one is also more on the lower end. Again, it's not quite my favorite formula, but I also told myself I will try other palettes by Clarity Cosmetics in the future because this one is like, I think a quite older palette. It's not like um, a new one. So I am also like, I think the newer palette don't have like this big of a pen, which can be the reason why they are a little bit more firmly pressed. And that's maybe the reason they're a little bit uh, harder to pick up. So that's why this one is also quite low on my scale. The next two palettes uh, are indeed more of color story and not because of the quality. And these ones are the Lamora palettes. I bought both of these palettes to dupe uh, Natasha Denona palettes and I think I did a great job. I will link of course all corresponding videos down below. Uh, we do have the Bronze Dreams palette which is like a more dupe to the Bronze palette than Nat from Natasha Denona and then we also have the Attraction palette which is a dupe for the or a, yeah a dupe-ish color for the Glam palette. Both of them has like a similar vibe they are quite similar um, they have like three shades less than Natasha Denona which I'm to be honest I didn't even recognize because listen these are the shades you probably need these uh, like 
pigmentation formula wise are amazing. It's just that again, these are the same as for Natasha Denona. They are of course, uh, because they are more dupish shades. These are of course, like this is missing a really, really light shade for me. And this one again is a great palette. Um, it is just quite neutral, you know what I mean? So yeah, these ones are, that's the reason if you love if you love a good neutral palette, you don't want to spend the uh, money on a Tasha Denona. I think these ones are amazing and you definitely can't go wrong with these. Let's come to another Tasha Denona palette. You didn't think that this one would come like as low on a ranking um, because um, this one is the Yuka palette by Natasha Denona. And I don't know if you can't tell, but I have to say for me, this is lacking light shades. This is of course like really similar shades as Natasha Denona does. There are again like three different gold tones that are quite similar. There are yellow green tones that are quite similar, like this shade and this shade for example. Like these two shades could have been this one and this one had could have been more different and for now 73 euros i i just like listen i have better palettes in this than uh yeah i i think this is good it's a good palette it, the quality is there and natasha denona has good quality but for that price tag i would like expect more and don't get me wrong from natasha denona palette this one would be probably my favorite because i do love greens and these colors are pretty it's just that I am disappointed in that. And so, yeah, that's why this is coming a little bit like further in the back. Another palette that is on this rank because of the color story is the Blend Bunny's Lure palette. I bought this, I think in March, maybe. This is stunning. Listen, I absolutely love this. This is a multi-chrome if I'm not mistaken. This is gorgeous just a little bit cool tone for me. I mean, I bought it because of that. I ha don't have a lot of cool tone palette and I think this is stunning. I'm just saying that, yeah, this color story is a little bit more tricky to work with for me. So this is why it's a little bit like lower down. Uh, still, I do love every single palette I own. Like all of them are great just because it's in the lower places. It doesn't mean I don't love it. Again, this one is so pretty and I did use that in conjunction with the uh, Search palette and I absolutely love this. The quality of Blend Bunnies is stunning. The only shade I had a little bit of a problem with was the blue, but other than this, I absolutely love the palette. Let's talk about Beauty Bay. Uh, Beauty Bay Retro Love, uh, I think this is a stunning, stunning palette. I think also you can go in a really like a lot of different directions. We do have pinky shades, bluish shades. We do have a white, which I absolutely love, a really deep purple, like this, the one, this one, this one. You know, I think the quality, again, of all of these palettes by Beauty Bay is amazing. I do love all of them. So yeah, this one, I, I, I absolutely really enjoy. I don't think if this was limited edition or not, not sure about this, but again, if you can, you uh, can you like, grip it from someone uh, do so. Glamlight got me good this year. I bought the um, Barbie palette by Glamlight. This one was not a new release, at least not at the time I bought it. But I mean, look at these colors. This is so damn pretty. I absolutely love this. Like, look at this. It's so pretty. I love it. It's like stunning. It, the quality of Glamlight shadows are amazing. So I can't say anything bad about that. I absolutely love the packaging as well. I mean, listen, it's Barbie. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love this palette. Totally recommend it. The next palette is one from the George Divine uh, like collection by Uns Eye. This one is a quite recent one. This one is the Stone and Rock palette. This is the green palette. And I think these shades are stunning. It's just, listen, the, the other ones are a little bit more exciting or I would say a little bit more surprising. So this is just in like the third place, if you will. But again, I do love this. I love this especially uh, to use together with the other Jewel's Divine palette by Uden's Eye, which will come in a sec. And um, yeah, it's stunning. It has a multi-chrome. Uh, it has a black and a white. I mean, I absolutely love it. It's stunning. 
a brand I discovered this year is um, Cosmic Brushes and I ordered this one with my friend together. This is the Muse palette and listen, it's gorgeous. I do absolutely love the quality. This is so pretty and you can go in different directions as well. In purpley uh, directions, in pink tones, we have greens, browns, a little bit of yellow as well. So I think this is great. Um, the quality is there. I was so surprised and on a good term surprised that this palette is so beautiful. Especially this shade, like listen. This is beautiful and I absolutely love this. This is why it's quite up there. And if you say, wait, wait, which palette didn't she mention? Yeah, I did mention this one. This is the Jewels and Gems by Odin's Eye Cosmetics. And this is my absolute favorite. It is stunning. First of all, we do have a multi-chrome, which is this one. But second of all, these shades are amazing and you can go in different directions. We do have a deep brown that is a little bit more pinky toned. We do have pinky tones. We do have also like greenish tones, bluish tones. I mean, listen. I was, I am still so surprised that I love this so much because normally I'm not a fan of cool tones, but this one, I mean, listen, I absolutely love this one and I, I'm just surprised and I absolutely love it. Listen, highly recommend this. This is, by the way, the uh, George Divine uh, palettes are not limited edition from Uden's Eyes. So if you want to grab one, highly recommend both of them. This is my ranking of all the palettes I bought in the last six months. Again, I think these were 11. If I like put the Lamora ones separately, uh, then this would be 11. But listen, I am so happy that I prop, I like, listen, I like all of these. And I am super happy that I have these. And yeah, if you want to see any video with these palettes or a great review again I will link all of the palettes uh, all of the videos I did already with the palettes uh, if you aren't already by the way subscribe to this channel I would really appreciate you having in my small little YouTube family and uh, without further ado I wish you a beautiful week and we see us in my next video so bye guys